Hey everyone, it's Mari. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. I have a project here for the My Creative Scrapbook Kit Club. Um, this is my first project with the main kit as the guest designer for February. And I'm going to be using this amazing cut file that's called Home Decor. This is a really pretty cut file that I've cut from some white cardstock. And I'm going to back parts of the cut file with this photo play patterned paper and also with the pink paper that you see on my desk there with the tone on tone pinks. Um, and that I believe is a piece from the So Happy Together collection from Simple Stories from the kit. Love the papers in this kit. I think they're gorgeous. And I wanted to use the pinks and greens to back the flower that's part of this cut file. So you'll see me backing the, the flower with the pink and the leaves with that green. And I'm going to use this really awesome wood grain paper from the kit for my base. This is the photo that I'm going to be working with today. I think I printed this at about 4.5 by 3.5. The photo is perfect for this, uh, the collection and the papers I'm going to be working with today because there's some pinks and some greens, tiny little wee bit of yellow on the shoes of my one niece in the photo. And I think it just works perfectly. There's some navy in the photo and so on. So love how that's going to work with the colors in the collection that I'm going to be using today. So I'm going to just outline the flower and the leaves on the different pattern paper that I'm going to be using to back those parts. So the flower, <clears throat> pardon me, I just traced there onto this pink paper with my pencil. And I'm just going to cut on that uh, pencil line and now that is going to be just the perfect shape for backing that flower. This method works really well when you're going to be backing a specific shape that's not just like a circle or something like that. Um, it's pretty easy to just trace the object and then you've got the perfect shape for backing that cut file. Now all I have to do is go to the cut file itself with my glue. I'm using my fine line bottle and I will link up some of these different things that I'm using here in the description box below, including this amazing kit from my creative scrapbook. Um, once I've got my glue on there, I'm just going to place it onto that floral piece, glue it down and voila, that is done. I am going to use exactly the same process on the green paper with for the leaves and <clears throat> I won't show you all of this on camera. It's just the exact same technique I used for backing the flower. Now I want to um, get this, this uh, cut file right in the middle of my paper. So I'm going to take my Tim Holtz ruler that has that zero point in the center. Really super easy way to mark the center of anything. Um, it's also very easy because this is 12 by 12 paper, but I do really like using this uh, ruler specifically for this process. I'm also going to use the ruler to mark the center of the cut file as well, and then line up the center of the cut file with the center of the paper so that I do have <clears throat> my cut file in the right spot. Murphy's Law, as soon as I go to do a voiceover, I have a frog in my throat. Anyways, I'm sorry about that, so please uh, bear with me. Um, so I'm going to get this all centered up on my paper and then what I want to do is adhere it to the paper with a little bit of foam dimensional adhesive just to lift the uh, cut file off of my background paper a little bit to give the layout a bit more dimension. This is a really super clean layout. Um, so it's nice if everything's not just really flat to the paper. It's nice that when the layers are added, they've, they're have they added with a little bit of dimensional adhesive so that it does give the layout a little bit of lift. It looks more interesting in that way. So I'm going to just take tiny little pieces of this foam tape that I've cut with my scissors and add it to some of the really intricate parts of the cut file and get that lift that I'm looking for. So you'll just watch me do that here for a little bit. And once I'm all happy with how that looks, I'm going to continue to work on the rest of the layout. Now, what I decided to do to make the background of the layout look a little more interesting as well is I decided to back the layout with a couple of mats. So I'm going to mat the wood grain paper with white cardstock from my stash 
And then I'm going to add another layer using some of the patterned paper from the kit. That's just a really pretty tone on tone navy. I love that paper. It would have been really great for a background as well, but I also love it for just a really nice mat. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to actually take a half an inch off of each side of the paper and uh, then just size the paper down in that way. I think I take a little bit less off the top and bottom so I think my paper ends up not being perfectly square when I'm done but that's fine and or at least that's what I think I did here you'll be able to see when you watch me I think I took a half an inch off the sides and then maybe just a quarter of an inch off the top and the bottom let's see there no actually I didn't I I did the same same amount off the top and bottom perhaps so um I maybe just took a little bit more off the top than the bottom because I felt like the bottom was getting a little bit small there. So there you'll just see I take an extra quarter of an inch off the top and then just a quarter of an inch off the bottom so that it's still square, which is wonderful. Okay, so I'm going to just now move that to my white paper and I'm going to just use a pencil just to mark off where I want to cut my paper so that it is going to be the same amount of white space all the way around the edge of that paper. I'm just going to take my cutter now and trim that down and I will be able to adhere my wood grain paper onto my white paper. So you'll just see me fussing with my trimmer here a little bit and get that all trimmed up using that guideline to do so. So get that trimmed and then I'll, what I'm going to do with that navy paper is I'm actually going to gut the center of it. I did that because I wanted to save the center of the navy paper for A, matting my photo, and B, for other projects. So I didn't want to waste the middle of that paper, so I did that. And I'm not sure if I showed doing that on camera. I might not have, but I do, in fact, gut that navy paper. That's the biggest mat on the outside edge. Um, I really love the B side of this paper, too. It's so gorgeous, that floral. Um, but I did just want to use this wood grain for this particular layout. So I'm going to stick that down and then I will adhere this whole thing to the navy and then that will be finished. And I actually end up going with my sewing machine later and I sew around that wood grain paper all the way around the perimeter with some white thread just to create a little bit more texture around the edge of the whole layout. And I'm going to add a little bit more faux stitching detail to the layout and I'll show you. I'll talk about that when I get there. So I'm going to pop up my photo on some foam adhesive here as well before I put it onto my photo mat. Once again, just to add some more dimension to my layout. I'm going to stick this down to that navy paper that's um, the same as that mat on my layout. And I'm going to trim this up and get that all nice and straightly cut. I'm just gonna loosely cut it here with my scissors and then I'll use my Tim Holtz guillotine trimmer to trim that up and make it nice and straight. Um, love that Tim Holtz trimmer. Um, you can see here I've got a die cut at the top from the uh, So Happy Together Simple Stories die cut pack that comes with the main kit. That die cut says our family photo, which is perfect for this particular photo. This is a photo that was taken at my daughter's wedding of my daughter and all of her cousins and her brother, her grandpa, and of course her husband. Now what I did for my journaling was I just did this in Microsoft Word. I printed it out on some white cardstock and then I die cut it with a stitched rectangle die so that there's that faux stitching um, that kind of goes nicely with the stitching around the outside edge of the layout when it's done. I matted that on that same pink paper that I backed my flower with just to bring that pink over there again. And now I'm just taking some of the die cut pieces again from that Simple Stories die cut pack and embellishing with a bit of floral, some of the hearts, and everything just coordinates beautifully, right? We've got that pink, then some of the navies again, a little bit of the red tones and the yellow. I just love it. Um, super pretty. I love the color palette in these in this kit. I'm going to take one of the, the little stickers from the 12 by 12 cardstock sticker sheet and stick that underneath a floral layer over to the left of the journaling. I'm also going to use some of the little um, chipboard hearts from the chipboard uh, sticker sheet to 
add to a couple of different spots or at least one spot, I guess, just on that cluster to the left of the journaling as well. And, you know, I am almost done here. I'm just going to add little bits and pieces of other things like there's a little um, phrase sticker there that says cousins that I'm going to put up at the top. I end up putting a little tab sticker up behind that that brings the yellow up into that area. I also add a little sticker that says a beautiful chaos and that's also from the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. And um, I also added that little phrase die cut piece that says you call it chaos, we call it family. I think that's perfect. And I added some watered down white uh, acrylic paint splatters to a few areas on the layout as well. And that's it. It's finished. I really like how this turned out. I love the cut file and I just love all of the bits that you have to work with in this kit. And I think this is just a really nice, simple and clean layout that is not uh, too tough to duplicate if you wanted to scrap lift this. It was a lot of fun to create. Thanks so much for stopping by guys. Don't forget to check the links down below and I'll see you again on my channel. Bye-bye.